locus. In this video, we are going to focus on locus of points which are at a given distance from a given straight line. You will find this on page 416 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Locus of points which are at a given distance from a given straight line, not from a point like in the previous video, from a given straight line. If a point moves so that it's at a constant distance from a line through two fixed points, X and Y, its locus is the pair of straight lines drawn parallel to X, Y and distance D from it. Okay, so there is the line between X and Y and then the loci will be these two parallel lines. So it will be to this side as well as to this side. And if it's around the point, it will be the circle, but this is a line continuing, so that will just be the two parallel lines. So the condition will be equal distance from one line. And what will the loci be? Two parallel lines. To describe a line, we use two capital letters next to each other. So if I want to say from BC, you must know it's not two points, it's from BC. So that BC is indicating a line. Let's look at an example. Given the line AP, draw the locus of point exactly one centimeter away from the straight line. So you just go to this side, one centimeter, to this side, one centimeter, and that will be your two, your loci from this line. And then shape the region less than one centimeter from the line AB, and then you just shade this part. Okay, the inside. If it was more, then you will shade the outside part. Okay, again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 45. Use your, ins uh, um, your construction instruments, okay, and to do this accurately. So the locus of points two centimeters from the line KL. Now again, I think we have a problem, um, so I'm going to change it just a little bit to help me on my technology. So I'm going to again uh, make it five, or let's do it 5.2. And make, let's make it 5.2. That is not exactly the same. Okay, now I'm also going to, so it's actually from this line. So I have to redraw that line. You will have it on your paper. Or you can work it, so you can copy and paste it. Now for me, let's see if I can copy and paste it. I just want to check first. Okay. And on this line, it's K and L. Okay. So let's just mark these two points. And then we see if we can transfer this again. Oh, I think if it's fitting on the line, it will be exactly, but you can use tracing paper. I just have to make a plan now like this. Okay, it would be good if this colors would be different, so I think I'm just going to mark it in red. It was that point. Okay, and that will be K, and that will be L. Okay, the locus of points 5.2. So again, I just use my instruments. I, I just want to show you with the ruler. Um, and then if I'm searching for another one, um, um, let's just move it up. Applications, and I just use this one. Okay, so if I want to see, and I want to just show you that it's, I said 5.2. So if we take this ruler, and we take this one, and it's 5.2, and we just go there to 
5.2. Can you see? That's 5.2. Okay. Then we can move this one. So, okay. Now the problem is we must just turn it. Let's just turn it. No, no, it's not a... Okay. We didn't need that. Let's rather use not this one. Okay, so undo. Um, I think we're just going to m make use of the ruler. That will be the best. Okay, so let's just move this ruler also. Let's see if we can turn it. Yes, we can turn it. So, I think the best will be... Oh, the ruler is so long. So, let's see. I just want to move the ruler. Now, if you want to see that it's parallel, okay, I want to show you. It's just that you, I will see this lines. Okay, I can see it's now parallel. Because this line is fitting on this, on the blue line. So if I say 5.2, let's see, uh, it will fit, it's nice. So I just make a mark. Now what you can do, is you just go in to mark there. Mm, what will I use? Red, um, 5.2. So I use my mark this side, and also mark that side. Then it will be easier to have two points. Okay, and then take this ruler again to this side, also 5.2, so we can put it like this, and then mark it again. Okay, maybe this one I can redo. Okay, and now I just need my ruler again. And I just need to move it around until it fits exactly on that two lines. As you see, otherwise I have to turn it still a little bit. Okay, and then I just take that line and I just draw that line. Okay, moving my ruler again to that position. Okay, it's a bit high, my paper is a bit short. You can just go and make yours a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, so it could have stretched a little bit longer and then I'm just going to take this ruler again. And now, they are going to tell me, what did they tell? Show that less than 5.2. So I will just, oh, I don't need the ruler now. I will just use this, and I just use this. Um, rather use green or red. So it's less than, so it's just this. Actually not touching that line. Okay, okay, and if it's a little bit longer, it's just because it's two, so just make it's the two parallel lines, and that's your Loki. From one, so let's just repeat, from a straight line, the Loki will be two parallel lines, so meaning that this line will be parallel to this line.